people welcome back to the channel those of you newcomers go ahead and push that red subscribe button and join the family as you can see we're gonna make a uh, fried rice but today we're gonna use something that they sell at the store the popcorn chicken something different that you can make that'll make you making a great meal easier okay so we've cut up all our vegetables and everything and you know the first thing if you don't know me you know me now is we're gonna have to put a burn on that meat. We got our pan, putting some oil in it. Gonna get it nice and hot. And go ahead and put that meat in here. Okay, let's dump a few onions to see whether we're hot yet. We're not quite as hot as we wanna be yet, but we can still start getting those onions in there. Yeah, that's, that's the must right there is gonna be those onions. We all know this one, okay. Once those onions start getting sauteed around, we'll start adding that chicken. Okay. Let's get this moving around so we can do what it do. All right. Yeah. Like I said, at this point, if you see you don't have enough onion or you might want some more, you can go ahead and add some more. Okay. Pour those right in there. They're small enough to where I felt like we didn't need to cut them up. But if you want to cut them in half, that would be good because that'll get a lot more of the flavor inside of the little chicken pieces. So that would be a good idea for that. Okay. So we're just going to continue to marinate this. Put a little bit more oil on here. And those of you who don't know me, you only use avocado oil. So don't be afraid when you see that oil turn up. Yeah. Okay. Now this point too is when you're going to monitor and see, do you think you need a little bit more meat? If you're needing more meat at this point, you can. Those of my viewers that are vegetarian, you already know. There's some vegetarian meat that you can use to do this too. Yeah, any of your chicken nuggets that, you know, are sold by Impossible, there's many different brands, can be used. And what you do is you just cut them, you know, cut them up into fours, depending on how big they are. And you can make your own popcorn chicken or you can buy... I don't know if there's vegetarian popcorn chicken or not. If anybody knows of a, a brand that makes a, a vegan popcorn chicken, can you put that down in the comments for me? And I'll get some of that and cook that for you guys and make a similar dish to this. But we all know cooking is cooking and you can switch out the meat or not meat for any recipe and make a good recipe. Okay, now we got a burn going on this. So we want to start, <clears throat> excuse me, getting some of this other stuff in here so we can get a burn on it. Now, I love mushrooms, so this stir fry, I mean, not stir fry, <laughs> fried rice, you know, they all start running together after a while, people. Okay, we're going to put that mushroom in there. Now, when it's time to add our um, rice, I'm going to switch to another pan. I'm adding all the ingredients that are going to go in the rice in here and putting a good burn on it. And then at the end, I'm going to fry up that rice and add this mixture to the rice. So we'll have the ultimate rice dish. Here's the uh, soy sauce I'm going to use. I'm going to put a little garlic powder in this. And I've got a stir fry pack. I love Sunbird's uh, mix pack seasoning, but if you don't have one of those, make sure you're going to put you some sesame seed, some other uh, Asian type herbs to this that's going to take it to where you need it to be. But with all of the different vegetables and things that we're using, you don't really need a lot of seasonings to make it be what it is. Okay, 
this right here would be a good dish. I'm thinking you could even add a little spinach to this, and that would be delicious too. Okay, well, we're gonna hit and um, put a burn on this. We're gonna set this aside and start getting our rice together. Okay. All right, we got a pan we're gonna use for our rice. We're gonna put that oil down in there. Any oil in there because we got quite a bit of rice and we're going to go ahead and throw over our rice this is wild rice that's pre-cooked it's a wild rice pre-cooked mix that i use those of you who are in the indianapolis area there's a place called trader joe's and they sell them in the packages but i'm sure there's other places that do also and we're just going to start getting this rice turning around in here and straight out the gate we're going to go ahead and add the fried rice packet and we're going to get our eggs out of the refrigerator so we can fry these up right of course and i'm going to put that packet in there and we're going to need us a couple of eggs to make this taste the way it ought to taste you know i've had many fried rice but if they don't have an egg or two, or at least an egg substitute, something egg in them, they just don't taste right to me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's psychological, I'm not sure. But as you can see, I'm using the real egg today, which we're gonna be okay with that. But those of you who don't eat egg, just omit that and add you some of that egg it. I think it's egg or something like that. And uh, that'll be just fine, too. And then those of you who feel like you can do it without it, go ahead with your bad self. Because I don't know that I can eat it without that flavor being there. Yeah, I really value that flavor being there. Now, we've almost run a ground of, egg, of uh, onions. So, I'm going to have to... Cut up a little bit more onion and get that in there because we definitely want that onion in the flavor. So I'll toss some more onion in there, which there's uh, stop, stop. Oh, I got soap in here while I'm cooking, and every time you drop something, she wants to get at it, and dogs can't have onion. So I have to make sure if I drop some onion, I get it as quick as possible because she will eat it. She doesn't care. She thinks she's supposed to eat whatever she wants to eat. So I'm going to get this stirred around. And once we get the burn on this and cook that egg, we will start adding in the other ingredients for our fried rice all right people this is beautiful and you already know it smells divine anytime you use anything that's got to do with uh onion you're gonna have that good taste to it and we're gonna put that last egg in there ain't no sense in wasting it because we love it and it's not gonna hurt yep Oh, this is beautiful. Now, those of you who want to take that extra step and you want to cook your own chicken or some of your own familiar ingredients, there's nothing wrong with that. That just makes the process a little bit longer. But if you like to cook like me, the length of time is not going to bother you. And I love to cook, so a little extra time is not going to bother me at all. Okay? Okay. This rice is done. We want it to be nice and fluffy. And we don't want it to be much. So at this point, we're going to start adding that in. Look at that, people. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, my. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Just delicious. Now, be mindful. Most of these ingredients came from my last refrigerator clean out. So technically, this could be a leftover dish, too. We just took it up another level and added a few ingredients. So, you know, you could have just went to store 
and bought some of those that popcorn chicken and you would have had a fire chicken fried rice so this is popcorn chicken fried rice people i want you to try this out oh let me get a piece of this gotta get a piece of chicken too uh oh wait a minute mm. oh y'all mm, don't sleep on that oh yes get you some of that you can do this people you got this i got confidence in you all right let's enjoy have a great night